So we're about to start to clean the espresso deck. This is really the same as any coffee machine group head, but uh, we'll go through the, the way we do it. First of all, I like to use the group head to we'll pop out the shower screen and pop the blind in. Before we do too much, we'll get up in there with our cleaning brush. So that's designed to get up around the seal. It's just to clean all the, the, the junk down from around there. So we'll do that to both. We can also just flush out any little bits that are on the shower screen. I like to give a bit of a, a bit of a jiggle just to free up and loosen up anything that's just resting there. And then we'll get our cleaning powder. We just want a quarter of a teaspoon, um, just a tiny bit. And we lock that in and we turn it on three or four times. On and off. On and off. The idea is just for it to build up pressure so that it races back through the system, taking the cleaning powder with it, together with water. So three or four times on and off. Then most importantly, we want this to sit for a good three minutes. This is really when it's cleaning. It's also important to set an alarm on your phone for three minutes, because three minutes is long enough to get carried away onto another job and forget that you're actually cleaning, particularly at the end of the day. If you do leave powder in the group head overnight and you don't fully get rid of it, the powder can dry up and go hard and stop your electro valve from opening and that's a real showstopper. If that happens, then you can fill your blind filter up with water and just lock it in and sometimes that's enough just to get a little trickle of water to loosen up that hard soap. But we, we of course try not to let the handle being left on with powder in it for any length of time. Three minutes is long enough. All right, so we've waited three minutes and we're gonna come back now. Any button's fine to push. We want to actually activate the group head six times now. Just turning it on long enough, you can actually hear when it's up to pressure on and off. The actual off part is when it's actually cleaning. It's actually when it's allowing all the soap and hot water to be blasted through, back through the line, taking with it all the oils and um, residual that you're wanting to clean. So after a half a dozen cleaning cycles, we remove that and another little jiggle just to get any powder, this is quite a messy job. And then we lock it back in, and with clean water now, we do another six shots. This is getting rid of all of the residual cleaning chemical. It's important not to serve the first coffee. It's, a, it's actually important to discard the first coffee, so as to line, once again, the parts with the coffee flavour and oils. That can be done first thing in the morning to season the coffee machine. Uh, of course, each group needs to have that job done to it. Just a little bit of cleaning powder. Your cleaning powder needs to be fresh. It should have a foaming action. And if it's not fresh, it won't have that foaming action. The foaming action makes it reach up and rest on all the parts in the coffee machine that needs to be cleaned. So to keep it fresh, pop the lid back on the powder when, when you're not using it. So, lid back on, lock it in, and three times on and off. So, as for cleaning the coffee machine, it's very important to clean the group porta filters. To do that, I remove the filter basket. There's also a spring that holds that filter basket in, which, if you do lose that, the filter basket will easily fall out into the knock tube. But I do like to remove that carefully for cleaning purposes. 
We are actually going to place that then into the bucket. Very important that when you're filling the bucket, you don't fill past the bottom of the handle. Particularly a timber one, but any handle shouldn't get wet at all. The water level should just come to the top to clean all these parts in here. Just a um, quarter of a teaspoon of the cleaning powder in the, in the bucket there. So we want to fill up only to the top of the metal. We don't want the handle in the hot water solution. Allow that to sit then for five to 10 minutes and then go back in with a gentle cloth. Don't need to use anything abrasive, remove all the oils.